Let's say we need to calculate the area of a valid triangle using Heron's formula. Now Heron's formula for those of you who are not aware is given as yes. First we need to calculate yes. Yes is nothing but a plus b plus c by 2. These three a, b and c stands for the sides of a triangle. Yes stands for the perimeter and area is given by square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay this gives you the square root sorry this gives you the square root of on the right hand side and that's how you get the area of a valid triangle upon based upon Heron's formula now there's an important word here something called as valid triangle now what exactly is a valid triangle? A triangle is said to be valid if the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. Suppose I have a triangle where A is 1, B is 2 and the third side is C is 10. This is not a valid triangle because A plus B is not greater than C. So such a triangle is not a valid triangle. For a triangle to be valid, the sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side. So in order to calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula, we will require variables A, B, C, S and area. So our first step will be to tell what are the variables we are going to use in this particular pseudocode to find the area of a triangle. So first what, we, what I'm going to say is, Take variables a, b, c, s and area. Now in order to calculate the value of area, I need to calculate the value of s. Okay, but even before that, I first need to check whether the input a, b, c is a valid triangle or not. So the next step is I will get the values of a, b and c. So I will ask the user to enter the values to a, b and c. So he could enter 10, 20 and 22. So this is a valid triangle because the sum of any two sides is going to be greater than the third side. So I'm going to read in the values of A, B and C. Now in order to determine whether it's a valid triangle, I'm just giving you the high level logic. So high level logic says if the sum of any two sides, it should not be is in, it should be is. If the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side, then only I am going to calculate the area otherwise I am going to print a message invalid sides or invalid triangle to the user so that he knows that he has entered wrong values of the three sides a b and c so assuming he has entered sides like this 10 20 and 22 here the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side so here what I am going to do here is here I am going to use this particular logic this flower brackets I've used, although it's not really required in a pseudocode, just to make it clear that this is the beginning of a piece of code which is all attached. You will see that right now. So I will calculate S as A plus B plus C by 2. Do not forget to put this bracket because if you forget, it will divide C by 2 and then add it to A plus B, which is not what you want. After you calculate A, then what you will say is you will calculate the area as square root of this s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so this is how you're going to get the area of a triangle so it's going to say calculate the area of area as square root of s into s minus a s minus b into s minus c now for this square root we are not writing any code we are assuming that any language which we are going to write this particular logic in will have code available for us that if we send this particular number now this will get evaluated and it will result in one single number this single number when it is sent to this square root fellow he is going to calculate the square root and dump it onto area he is going to copy it onto the area variable so it is going to calculate the square root of whatever this number is copy it to area and i am going to display the value of area then this this block is attached with this if so this part is attached with this if so just see how I have written if within the round brackets whatever condition I am discussing this condition result or answer is going to be boolean by the word boolean I mean it's either going to be true or false 
So what I mean here is it's either going to be a valid triangle or an invalid triangle. It cannot be both. So if it's a valid triangle, this particular calculation is going to happen. Now assume I enter a triangle like 1, 2 and 20. It's an invalid triangle. In that case, this else is going to get activated and it's going to say invalid triangle and display the message on the screen. So just to rephrase a couple of points you need to understand. This one you need to put in bracket because it will end up dividing C by 2 and add it to A plus B which is not correct. We are not writing the code for square root because almost all modern programming language have something called as library functions or library procedures which if you pass a number to them it is going to give you the square root. This entire thing is first going to lead to a single number. That single number is going to be sent to square root and the resulting square root is going to be sent to area. So what is going to happen is it's going to look something like this. It's going to say square root of some number. So this number for example could be 100. In that case the square root is going to be 10 and this 10 is going to get copied to area. So this is how we are going to calculate the square root of this, dump it to area and display the area. And as I told you earlier if I enter 1, 2 and 5 this is not a valid triangle. In that case it's going to display this message it is an invalid triangle.